guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Vanessa V and I'm here with another video <laughs> if you just heard that that's my dog cupcake hey girl we acknowledge that you're here <laughs> whoa here she is come here <laughs> she's so scary She's scary. Her heart's beating. It's okay. Mama's not gonna hurt you. Mama loves you. Mama loves you. <laughs> go. 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 <sighs> okay, so again, another video where I don't know how lighting works. Like, it would be better if I was facing that way, but honestly, I want to sit on my bed with this in the background. So, we'll see how this video turns out. I'm going to be keeping an eye on the time. Sorry if it seems like I'm all over the place. I have a lot to talk about today. Yeah, so welcome. If it's your first time around here, around these parts, no. If, if you are seeing my videos for the very first time, welcome, girl. Hi, how are you? Take a look around. If you like the vibe, then you should subscribe. Um, anyways, like I was saying, I have a lot to talk about, about what's going on in my life. As you can tell from the title, this is uh, Let's Just Chit Chat Girl, Let's Catch Up, Life Update. So, uh, first things first, your girl got a new phone. So, if you guys do not know, um, now you know. Your girl is a Samsung Galaxy fan. I have used the Samsung Galaxy for like ever. Oh, hi. I've used the Samsung Galaxy phone for like forever, uh, probably for the last like six years. I've had a Note, no, more than six years. I've been in Austin five, maybe closer to seven or eight years. I've always had a Galaxy Note. Um, well, my screen went out on my Galaxy uh, Note because it cracked and this was like a Galaxy Note 8. So the Note 21 is supposed to be coming out. It sounds crazy, but I mean, I didn't skip like 13 notes, but um, yeah, it's supposed to be coming out. So they're not carrying a lot of the Note 20. So I went from like four different T-Mobile shops trying to get the Note 20. They didn't have it. And of course, nobody has the Note 21 yet. So um, the guy's like, you know what, go to this last store and if they don't have it, see if they'll put you on the jump program where basically I can uh, basically get this phone and then minimally have it for a month and then I can go ahead and jump to a new one, just pay like the down payment. Which that, this getting this phone was a whole ass story. If you wanna hear that story time, um, let me know because I don't like people. So some shit went down. That being said, uh, the next thing I have here are, is, guys, I told you I ordered some um, strapless bras from Lane Bryant. They finally came in. So this is like a tan color. I want to say it's like in mocha or something. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm not really sure. It does come with straps. It is has like some push-up padding here, and I am here for it. I think it's so cute. I think it's thick right here. I didn't have any problems with it falling throughout the day. That's a big deal when we're talking about strapless bras. Um, and then, of course, I got one in black, which I'm just now opening for the first time. So... We're gonna have the same concept. For whatever reason, they had to mail them separately. So this is her. Guys! <laughs> so, I went down a bra size, which is truly sad, but I think even more so, um, because the strapless bras, you have to get a cup smaller or already or like really fill it. So like, no, I was wearing like 
a year ago I was wearing a 48 D and this strapless bra is in a size 44 B bitch B like what a B not a B C D a B triggered triggered so this is the bra take a look at this back part where it has like some rubber adhesive not it's like rubber right here so it stays in place I like it and these retailed for $52.95 each but I bought it when everything in the store was like buy one get one 75% off so yeah I got them both for like $70 but y'all don't know this but y'all are gonna know this this summer I plan on being a strapless bra queen bando where you at spaghetti strap where you at crop top where you at off the shoulder where you at that's gonna be me so I invested $75 or so in something that I'm gonna be wearing all damn summer long stay tuned for the next episode <laughs> all right so the next thing I have here oh 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 I forgot to tell you life update so in one of my other videos I'm not really sure which one it is so if I remember maybe I will link it or tag it um, but um, I've been talking about having a lifestyle change you guys know if you're at least close to me you know I've been changing what I eat and bitch is not starving so don't get it twisted so watching what I'm put into my body as well as exercising and in April I joined a 50 mile challenge on Strava it's an app you should look into it you can be friends with your friends on Facebook on there this is not sponsored at all but um, there's a chapter I guess from this branch in San Antonio not Strava but this it looks it looks like it says and I amo like almost like and I love um, I'm not sure how to say that but I joined their challenge it was like $35 and I joined their 50 mile challenge so in the month of April my challenge was to run 50 miles and bitch you already know because you just saw my medal that I accomplished my challenge so your girl in the month of April 2021 um, ran over 50 miles I believe it was 50.3 miles bitch a year ago I wasn't running no miles so hello <laughs> I'll wait <laughs> um, anyway so this is the medal that I got how cool is that don't mind my nails they're not done but it's really pretty and then this is the ribbon I guess that goes around your neck and it just says like 50 slash 100 mile challenge because you can either do the 50 or the 100 mile challenge focus bitch focus on me um so yeah I got that and I also got a shirt with and this comes with registration And I don't know if anybody's going to care, but I'm not sure what happens if you don't finish the challenge. Like, do you just not get a shirt and you paid the money? I bet that's what they do. But that would be kind of sad. All right. And I'm sitting here today on June 1st. <laughs> and I'm sitting here today on June 1st. Proudly letting you guys know that yesterday I finished my second 50 mile challenge and it's 50 miles walking or running jogging hiking whatever you got to do to get those miles besides like biking it or whatever um, so I just finished my second 50 mile challenge and I'm gonna be signing up for the June one I'm gonna be doing it again this month and then I think in July when I'm out vacationing, I'm not going to do the mile challenge, but that does not mean that I'm just going to sit there and be on the couch. 
before I started doing challenges, I was already hiking, I was already walking, I was already running. So this just motivates me more to continue doing what I'm doing and making sure that I get out there despite like whatever my day looks like. Um, and I think they gave me a sticker too, but I think I left that in the living room. We're not gonna go for her. Okay, and then uh, really quickly, I had bought some stuff from Ulta. Some of them I bought like a little while back and some of them I just bought yesterday with my sister. So I'm gonna show you guys that really quick. Instead of making its own whole vid video at my desk, here we go. So I bought these Changing Magic Foot Peeling Shoes. I've never tried these before, but I've always wanted to. And I was already trying something else from Tony Moly. So this is what it is. Uh, comment down below if you tried these before. I've always wanted to try them because I, I believe there's a whole ass baby foot waiting to be revealed once it's done shedding because if you don't know you put these on they moisturize your feet and over the next few days to a week your feet shed all the dry nasty skin i mean i don't know the details it's going to be my first time but that's you know what i've heard and then the next thing i got i don't know if you guys have heard the tea with kylie cosmetics but i was just finding out the tea for my sister janie about how she's being sued um there's a whole ass story. I mean, I'm not even gonna pretend to know all the names of the people involved. Um, but, I mean, look into it. Um, she's being sued by a company that she did business with, with Kylie Cosmetics, because she basically revealed or gave information to the new company about the old company. But anyways, I got this highlighter in the color Queen Drip. Everything's kind of on hold with Kylie Cosmetics if you haven't heard. So I got this for $8. I'm like thinking this sunlight better fucking come back. I was trying to film a swimsuit haul after this. Okay. Then I got these two. I don't know if you guys have seen the NYX Liquid Lips. No, the NYX Lingerie XXL. So I had some of their original lingeries and I didn't really like them. The formula. And this one I like a lot more. It also has like the same bottle as like the NYX uh, Liquid Lips or Liquid Suede, whatever they used to be called. It reminds me of that bottle and this formula definitely feels more breathable than the old NYX lingerie brand. And I got the two of them in the color Undressed and in the color um, Turn On. So if you guys don't know, now you know girl likes a good nude color. These are so pretty. I really like the component. Look at the applicator. I love these type of applicators. They're so cute. And they do the job really well. So I got those two. And then I got... I actually... I actually heard Nisi, Nisa Pisa, Nisi PC. I forgot. I haven't seen her in a minute. But I actually saw her talk about these. So I got two of them. These are the lip plumping lip glosses from Makeup Revolution or Revolution. If you guys don't know me, I love me a good lip plumping lip gloss. So of course naturally i bought two of them so i got it in the shade element it's just a clear gloss and it looks like it has fake little dew drops or wet drops on the lid and then this is versus I think I'm actually going to put some of this on. This is the element. Just so we can see. Mm. Mm. 
All right, we're gonna see if there's a transformation or no. It's getting darker by the second. It's only literally been 16 minutes. Like, how is it getting darker by the second? Okay, we must carry on. Then I also wanted to try some new concealers. So I got the Morphe one, the white one, so I can do cut creases. This is the Morphe Concealer in white. It's the lightest color they have. It's a zero zero. And then I got two other concealers that I want to try out because I've been having like mattifying ones and like drying ones. And not that I wear a lot of concealer, but I was trying to look for one that's a little more my skin color that I can just blend and it's dewy and it's not going to make it look so obvious that I have concealer on when I'm not wearing other makeup. So I'm going to try the Hydrating Camel Concealer by e.l.f. And I'm also going to be trying the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in, C uh, in the shade C3 and the e.l.f. one was in light beige. So we're going to see how these work for us and if I'm going to be able to conceal under my eyes without having to wear more makeup. Um, because I'm jealous of a bitch who can do that. So we're going to try to figure out our lives. And then, um, of course, everybody was hyped about this. It's been a while, but I finally got my hands on it. I've actually been having it sit there. And I did squeeze it once to try to get a feel for the formula. But I've yet to wear it on my face. So you know that soon I'm going to have to let you know how that works. Um... Comment down below if you tried any of these products that I just showed you because, I mean, I'm curious. This one I've been using for a while and I love it. Are they juicy? <laughs> or are they juicy? Okay, um, and I thought I had it here, but the other uh, thing from Ulta I was going to show you was the NYX Brow Glue. I can't believe I left it over there. Maybe I'll go grab it in a minute, but I did do my brows with it, so... If they look a little hairy, um, that's on purpose. And the l my camera's having the hardest time focusing on me. You dumb fucking bitch. So the last thing I got from Ulta was by Tony Moly. It's Cat per uh, Cat's Perfect Night Mask. It is so cute. I was using an LMS uh, night mask and I haven't used it in a while but my sister is like, I need to go to Ulta, I need to go and get this and I, when I saw this I just thought it was so cute and I asked her like, yo does it like work good and she said she's a fan of it so I did try it last night, I did like it, um, it felt good, I mean I'm not, I haven't used it enough to see if I like it better than my LMS one. Um, but girl, she's cute and, and my skin felt great in the morning, so I can't really complain about that. All right, and, um, oh yeah. So the last thing I'm going to be talking to you guys about are these shampoos, uh, shampoo and conditioner. I don't know if you guys remember in one of my last TJ Maxx hauls. And Marshalls, I talk about those shampoos and I tell you, you know what, I've been using these for a couple of weeks. I'm going to have to let you know how I feel about them, but you know, I've been using it and I really don't like the way it makes my hair feel. Well, this past weekend, my sister came to visit me. If you guys don't know, Janie went to cosmetology school and she knows a lot about hair. So she comes over, fast forward, we're spending the weekend together, she goes to take a shower in my shower, and when she goes to shower, she uses this shampoo. So she uses it, and she comes out, and she goes, hey, what kind of shampoo do you use? Which one do you use? And I'm like, the pink one, the Cocoa Magic, or whatever. And she's like, okay, because I just used it, and like my hair... Like, I don't know what the heck is going on with my hair, but my hair is so freaking disgusting. It feels like my hair is over-processed. Guys, for weeks my hair has been breaking and thinning, and I can't figure out what the hell is going on with my hair. Literally, um, those ponytails, let me go grab one. Let me go grab one.
So a while back, I had hauled a whole stack of these. You guys see what kind of ponytails they are? A whole stack of these from like Marshalls. And one of you guys actually commented and was like, or in a private DM conversation, I don't remember, commented about these and how you can't use these or you stopped using these because it was making your hair break, it was pulling out your hair, something to that effect. So about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, I realized my hair was breaking and breaking. So I had only been using these basically since I got them. So I stopped using them saying like, this is why my hair is breaking, this is why my hair is thinning. My sister comes over one day, tries my shampoo and is like, this is garbage. What did it do to my hair? My hair is ruined. Dude, I started crying. I legit started crying because I was so upset, so distraught that it was my fucking shampoo that was ruining my hair. I thought it was ponytail holders. I was already like trying to do oil treatments on my hair. I was like, where the hell is my hair mask at? Like something's going on because guys, my hair is so thin now. I'm gonna show you like, I don't know if I can really show you, but look at that. And look how scraggly it looks. Like what is going on? Like that's not the typical hair that I have. My hair normally is really thick and it wasn't scraggly. Like look, it broke so much of my hair. Like legit, I'm gonna go back and be like, y'all need to pull this off the shelf and y'all also need to give me my money back. Like, it's less about the money and more like, motherfuckers, you're, you're selling like expired product or something because legit this shampoo says, Cocoa Magic Shampoo infused with hair strengthening coconut oil and botanical extracts. Deeply hydrates and restores. Shine. Where? Where? Guys, look at my hair. I didn't know it was a shampoo. Never did I think like a shampoo could do that to your hair. I feel like such a freaking idiot. And I feel so sad because legit I was using that probably at least a month. Like, look at the back of my hair. Look at that. Can you guys see that? I swear the lighting has gone south. Look at that. So freaking dumb. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but it's horrible. <sighs> it's horrible, horrible. Okay, I'm dropping all my shit. Okay, it's just two lip glosses, but still. Look how terrible it is. <sighs> so, yeah, I mean, I don't get this. I feel like something's freaking expired. I have heard people say don't buy shampoo products and stuff like that from TJ Maxx. I'm really sorry that... That is not, not what I followed. That's not what I did. I bought something from there thinking it would be better than paying full price for something that's, you know, at a regular fucking store. And it failed me big time, guys. So, do not do what I did. If you see this at the store, somewhere like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, stay away from it. Stay away from it. It... I regret buying this. I regret being drawn to the aesthetically cute pink exterior. It just really makes me fucking sad. Like, I really fucked up. Like, my hair is suffering. Like, now I'm gonna have to be trying to get it back to a healthy state for the next few months or whatever. I don't even know how long it's gonna take. So. 
Anyways, sorry to end on a sad note, but that's all I had for you guys. That being said, last but not least, a couple of you guys have been asking for a Shein haul. Girl, I hear you. I gotta order it, the stuff, but you know, I'm in preparation. That is gonna be one of my next hauls. I think I have a swimsuit haul, a workout haul, and a Forever 21 haul. And then after that, my next goal is gonna be to be another, uh, to be my first Shein haul. So look out for it. Um, thank you guys for fucking with me. We stayed all the way to the end. Um, make sure you comment down below and let me know. All right, I guess until next time. Bye. This is what the NYX um, brow glue comes in. The brow glue comes in a little box like this. They're always still sold out when I go. I did buy this from Ulta online. And look how tiny it is. It's a lot smaller than I anticipated. That's why I wanted to go ahead and show you guys. So this is my thumb. I got a long ass thumb, but still. It's pretty small in my opinion. Um, but I like the way it works thus far. And it has a tiny little spoolie. 